So continuing our video now, let's go back here. And you can see now that when we change tabs, we've got uh, some text appearing over here uh, each time we advance to a new tab. So let's go back to design mode now and see how that was done. So you can see that after the four buttons, we have a freeform container. And if we were to open up that freeform container, inside it we see nothing more than just a very simple div with an ID of message. So now let's go to our tab object over there and look at the JavaScript. And we can see that there's a JavaScript uh, event handler on change, which is when you change from one tab pane to the next tab pane. So let's go look at that. And we can see here that um, what's going on inside this um, uh, event handler is the first thing that we're doing is we're calling into the tab info method. Uh, to get information about the current tab object and then um, we're getting a pointer to the message div and then we're setting the inner HTML of that div to uh, info.currentPane which is the pane number of the current pane that has focus of and then info.paneCount so these two properties uh, of the info object are returned by this method over here so this is how we write text uh, into this uh, div uh, in the on pane change event. So you can see that's how we did that over there. So now that we've seen how um, these buttons over here were coded, let's take a look now at how this was done over here because it's using um, some of the exact same concepts. So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to hide this container so that visually we don't have any clutter. So I'll go to container style and I'll say um, um, style display, sorry, uh, I don't need style, I just need to say uh, display none. So now we've uh, hidden uh, those buttons again now, so those buttons are gone. And now let's look at, um, at this freeform container over here. So again, we can see here, we just, in this case, it just says message to. And then if we go back to our uh, JavaScript here, we can see that in addition to the JavaScript that we just um, discussed previously, there's also a call to a JavaScript function here called show progress. So let's go now to um, JavaScript events and look at the show progress event handler over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, here is show progress. So again, the first thing that this does is calls into tab info to get um, information about the state of the tab object and then what we're doing is um, I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger um, what we're doing is um, we define a JavaScript uh, variable called HTML which is an empty array so the square brackets is how you create a new array and now we're going to loop over all of the panes um, in the tab object. So object.pane count tells us how many panes there are. And then we're pushing into this array uh, the HTML for a, uh, an image. So you can see here we have an image tag. And then the image that we're using happens to be a built-in alpha 5 image, which is uh, the yellow um, um, circle. But of course, you could use any image in your project. And then we're calling, um, in the onClick event, we're saying uh, we're calling a JavaScript function called GoToPane and then the pane, uh, the pane number. So what we're saying over here is if i is equal to the current pane, so if the pane that is currently has focus, we're going to use a yellow icon, but otherwise we're going to use the white icon. So this um, creates um, a whole bunch of HTML and puts it into this array over here. And this HTML, of course, are just uh, image tags. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video.